Hello, and welcome to another CAD Dimensions Tech Tip. My name is Mindy, and today we're going to be talking about the Combine feature. The Combine feature has three different operations. You can add multi-bodies together to form one single part. You can subtract bodies from each other to remove where they overlap. Or you can use the common operation which saves the overlapping region of the bodies. You can only use the combine feature with a multi-body part. It does not work with separate parts inside of an assembly. As a workaround, you can always insert a part into another part. With spring and Easter around the corner, I've been working on creating an ice cube tray to make my own bunny peeps. As you can see here, I have the top profile of my bunny extruded, as well as the side profile of my bunny extruded. I did not merge these bodies together in the second extrude, so I do have two solid bodies. Now using the combine feature, which if you're not sure where it's located, don't forget you can come up to your command search and search for it there. I can use the common operation to get the common area between my two solids. So for operation type, I choose common. For bodies, I can just select my two bodies and say okay. Now I have my nice bunny shape. Next I want to create a pocket that the water will sit in that forms my bunny shape. So I went ahead and created an extrude that goes up into my bunny shape. Again, I did not merge the solids, so I do have two solid bodies. This time, I can use the combine feature with the subtract operation to create that pocket. My main body is going to be my extrude and the body I want to subtract is my bunny. When I say OK, you see I get that nice bunny shaped pocket. Lastly, I want to be able to make about 10 bunnies at a time. So I went ahead and I mirrored my pocket over and then created a linear pattern to get 10 bunny pockets. And then lastly, I created a boss extrude that will surround all my pockets. This time I have 11 solid bodies that I want to merge into one. So I can go ahead and use the last operation of the combine tool, which is the add operation. And I want all of the bodies so I can box select them and say OK. Now I have one solid body and a nice ice cube tray. With some cosmetic work, I went through and made my ice cube tray look a little nicer. Um, I was also able to create a preview of what the ice cube might look like. So we can go ahead and isolate that. You can see my bunny ice cube. I hope you enjoyed another CAD Dimensions tech tip. Please tune in next time. Thanks. Don't forget to check us out on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and our blog for more great content by clicking on the links in the description below.